Hello. Today, I wanted to ask a question, and that question was, what reality do you live in? What reality do you live in? You see, when God called Abraham out of this place called Ur of the Chaldees, he did something very peculiar. Later on in Abraham's life, this man's name at first was actually Abram until God changed his name into Abraham. Now, Abraham means father of many nations. And when God called Abraham this name by Abraham, he was not the founder of any nation. He was not the father of any nation. Uh, as a matter of fact, he either just had a son or was, was going to have a son. Okay, And that does not denote a nation. So why did God call Abram Abraham? Does that make any sense? Was this God trying to deceive this man, Abram, who he called Abraham? I submit to you that God was not trying to deceive this man. God was just letting us know how he operates. You see, when God says something, that's the proof. You see what I'm saying? When God says you are the father of many nations, you don't need the proof of a whole lot of people okay, in a country to prove that God was right. No, God sends his word and that's all the proof you need. You see, in this world, we see it to believe it. In this world, we have to see it in order for us to say, okay, so that's proof. Okay, he is the father of many nations because now I see a whole lot of people. He's the father of many nations. But in the kingdom of God, the word of God is reality. The word of God is all the proof you need. <laughs> And so just remember that. Always remember that it's all about the word of the Lord, making that your reality. And that is where it's at. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.